Good day. It's my pleasure to present here today. My name is Wayne Moody and I am from the country of Belize. When folks ask me where I'm from, I say I'm from heaven, but I was dropped off in a little piece of heaven called Belize. I am a Dream Builder Life Coach. And you might ask, what is a Dream Builder Life Coach? But what I do, I teach transformational principles that supports my clients taking their dreams from conception to manifestation. What is a mogul? A mogul is a person who dominates an enterprise or industry. We've been taught that domination looks like war, destruction, and loss. But domination is nothing more than having a commanding influence. So whether you're in your boardroom or your home office, your cubicle or your conference room, we come to dominate. As we influence each other, we will change our world. This road can be lonely and free time few, but be encouraged because you're no longer alone. Welcome to Mogul in the Making. And you might ask, what is a Dream Builder Life Coach? Well, what I do, I teach transformational principles that supports my clients taking their dreams from conception to manifestation. So today I want to share with you some fundamental principles of dream building. One of the first principles I want to share is something that we all realize, but we might not even be aware of it. And that is everything is first a thought before it becomes a thing. Imagine it. The room you're actually sitting in right now, the device you're actually watching me doing this presentation on was conceived in somebody's mind. It had to have been a thought before it became a thing. The last trip that you took, the vacation that you took, where was it conceived? It was conceived in your mind. And that's one of the first fundamental principles that I teach and empower my clients to be aware of because once you realize it, even the things that are undesirable is conceived in our minds. People wake up in the morning and they say, this is gonna be a crazy day. Where was it conceived? In their minds. So it is first conceived in the mind and then it is manifested as we put the energy into it. The second principle I want to highlight at this point is the fact that the choices that we make actually create the life that we live. Think about it. You're here in this session today. You're watching me today because you made a choice. I made a choice to do the recording and those two choices have actually created this moment. So the choices that we make creates the moment that we're living and the choices are like two planets colliding and when they collide they create something new and what we're creating is a moment that has never been this moment has never been and it's not going to be again so the choices that we make is a major part of creating the life that we're living but some choices are made just by default while some choices are made by intention and it is with intention that we make choices to create the life that we would love to live the next principle is we need to design the dream. If you want a house, you go to the architect and you say, well, I want a house. An architect could give you a tent, could give you a tree house, could give you a shack. But if you say exactly what it is that you desire, I want a five bedroom, five bathroom. I want it right actually at the ocean front. I want marble top counters. I want to make sure that I have a botanical garden. If you tell the designer, if you tell the architect what you desire, then that is what you will actually obtain. You have to design it. And you design this thing using one of the faculties that you have, which is your imagination. The imagination is one of the six mental faculties and I love it because if I can think it, it's possible. And that's where, that's where things are. And it was Einstein, I think, who said, the imagination is the factory of inventions. Because think about it, Uber, Google, Yahoo, all those things that were actually created came from someone's imagination. The imagination is a fantastic capacity that we have. And as we use our imagination, we actually create the dreams that we would love to live. The next principle I want to highlight is that we have to decide for our dream. The word decide comes from a Greek word 
which has a root, the cedre. And the cedre means to cut off, to cut away from. And that's what we have to do when we have a dream. We have to decide and we have to cut away from mindsets. We have to cut away from people. We have to cut away from systems that are not in alignment with what the dream is. You know, having a dream is like a rocket being launched. And the gravitational pull of the familiar would want to keep you where you know you are. And a lot of people live in the familiar. They stay right where they are and they live in the familiar. And in the familiar doesn't bring anything worthwhile, honestly. When you live in the familiar, you settle. And tell me, how many people go to courts and settle? When you settle and you go to courts, you don't get the best offer. You make a settlement. But that's not what you do when you decide for your dream. When you decide for your dream, the gravitational pull wants to pull you back to Earth. But like the rocket launched, you have to lay aside those booster rockets and you head into the Earth's atmosphere and you go into the heavenlies. And in order to get to where your dream desire, you got to decide. And deciding you cut away from the things that are designed to hold you back. Another principle that I want to address at this point, the fifth principle, is fair. Now, what is fair? I say fair is just an imaginary line that actually has told me that this is as far as I can go, as far as I've been. Fair does not mean that I can. It just means that I haven't yet. I remember last year when COVID started and I was introduced to Zoom. Oh my God, I, I, I was almost freaked out because I, I'm not familiar with the technology like you young folks. And I had to lean into the fair, but you know what? No, I have Zoom. I use Zoom as I work with my clients and Zoom is a major part of what I do. I meet meetings in Zoom. I have lunch in Zoom. I, I just hang out in Zoom. But you know what? The fear that I had dissipated as I leaned into the fear. So let me recap these five things, reference to fundamental dream building principles. The first one, everything is first a thought before it becomes a thing. That is, we imagine it. We conceive it in the mind. The second principle are the choices that we make is a major part of creating the life that we are actually living. The third principle is we design the dream. And how do we design the dream? Know exactly what it is that you desire because it is my longing and my discontent is gonna help me create what I truly, truly desire. And the next is that we must decide for the dream. We have to cut off. We have to lay aside certain things that are not in line with what you're dreaming. And I say to you, if there's anything, if there's any person, if there's any mindset that is not taking where you want to go, you got to cut it off. And the last principle is fair. And what is fair? Fair is just an indicator that, hey, this is as far as you've reached and you've not been here yet. It just means that you've not been there. It doesn't mean that you can't. It doesn't mean that you won't. But it just means that this is where you've never been. So I, I, these principles are, are fundamental to what I teach. And as a life coach, what I do, I take people through 12 weeks of coaching. Imagine you have a personal trainer and what the personal trainer does. They work with your body and you have to have the image that you want first of the body that you desire. And what does the coach does? Give you the exercise, the diet, the rest and the motivation, which helps you to get that body if you want a body for the summer. And as they work on this thing called plan, you see the body starts shaping up you start having the pecs and the muscles starts coming up. But what I do is not the body, it's who live in the body because you are a spirit in this earth suit. The body that you have is important. I mean, I'm a strong believer that my health is my wealth. But you know what? Who lives in the house is even more important than the house because when you meet an individual, you see the house. But when you start talking, you start understanding who lives in the house. And who lives in the house, sometimes actually, you don't want anything to do with you run away from that house. But there, there is definitely a difference between truly being a dream builder and being a wishful thinker. Because a wishful thinker is an individual who wishes, oh, I wish I get rich. I wish I become a star. I wish my business prosper. And that's just a wish. And wishes is that you have a genie. You know, you rub the genie and it happens. But if you're a dream builder, you set the intention. You look at what you have and you do what you can with what you have as you see it coming into fruition. There are two examples I want to highlight here who are truly dream builders. Oprah Winfrey, she set the intention. She did what she could with what she had. The opportunity meets the, the, the dream. Boom, we have a billion dollar mogul. 
Barack Obama set the intention, did what he could with what he had. When the opportunity met the intention, the miracle occurs, the first African-American president in our country. I want to say as I, as I wrap up this session that as a part of my purpose is to empower and truly motivate. And I've said this to Byron Jamal. I said, Byron, my aim is that you would soar as high as I've been and higher. Because it's my aim as an elder, you see the gray, is my, my aim to take you to a dimension that you've never been. Because if you soar beyond where I've been, that would be my success. So once again, I want to thank you for joining us today because this is what I do. I am a Dream Builder Life Coach. Wayne A. Moody Life Coaching is my company. You can find me on Facebook and you can find me on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm Wayne as Supermodel. That is W-A-Y-N-A-Z Supermodel. Thanks again for Byron Jamal for opening this door for me to just be a blessing to you folks. Thank you.